I am very proud, South Sea Island. Us and the parents, mum and dad, about how they grew up, they wouldn't say much. They didn't have much and they didn't say much because their parents were slaves. It's surprising there's not a lot of people knew about the history of the blackbird in days. They came from Kura, Tanna, Abrim and Pentecost, the South Sea Islands. But most would die here in Australia and most would die young. They were known as Kanakas. Some came willingly, but most were kidnapped, plucked from their island homes and shipped to Australia to be exploited as cheap labour. The trade became known as blackbirding, and in the 1870s, some ship's captains were charging plantation owners seven pounds per man. Many were branded, most were flogged and treated little better than slaves. Yeah, these are the little houses they built for themselves. When we were growing up in Joscoli, we didn't think anything about our heritage. We knew we were South Sea Islanders. We knew a bit about our history. Uh, the old people didn't tell us a lot. It wasn't until we, in later years, we realised what the history was all about. And then, you know, it's more important for us now to find out who we were, and, you know, what our origin, origin was. And that's when we got interested in going for recognition. You know, that happened just a few years later, down the track. It all began in, in 1970s, apparently. I wasn't involved at the time. This lady from New South Wales, she started touring Queensland to gain support, to push for some recognition as a, as a group of people, to get our own identity. And that's when I got involved with this movement. Well, Rockhampton formed a uh, body they called the ASIAC, Australian South Sea Island United Council. And I was probably one of the first presidents of this organisation. And everyone worked together collectively, you know, because we were all aiming for the same thing. We had meetings all along the coast of Queensland, and far up to Townsville, Cairns. You know, it was important for us to get a body together to have some force, so we were encouraged to form organisations all along the coast. And with the help of everybody working together and, and lobbying governments at all levels to, gain some, to get this recognition that we were aiming for, uh, it went on quite, for quite a few years. I learned about uh, the slave, uh, sugarcane slaves, blackbirding, I learned about it in school. I didn't know what it was until I was, oh, 15, 16. And uh, I realised then what I really was. And looking back, I can remember the, uh, the old people, Arthur Corwa, Noor Sabo, uh, Inez. All of them used to come to Rocky for meetings and they stood out. They stood out as leaders, Normie and Grace in a way, all the people up north, Bowen. And uh, it's sort of, you wanted to follow them, and that's how you, you got yourself into it, because they made sense. But they didn't harp on being slaves, you know, they didn't harp on being the grandson or sons of slaves. They, they worked it out themselves. So you got to do better for yourself. And that's how they got on with life and passed it on to everyone. In 1994, when the federal government officially recognised South Sea Islanders as descendants of the black burning days, and that was a big plus for us then, at least we had some identity. If I stay here any longer, I'll shed tears because it's a great day, Islanders to rejoice. It was a big celebration and it <laughs> happened on my brother's birthday, 25th of August, so that was bigger for our family. But uh, just to uh, get there, we lost a lot of people along the way, and uh, just to get there, oh dear, it pleased a lot of people. Oh, we were just, we were so, so happy, but at that time we were as a group, we were all over in Vanuatu. We were over there for the uh, independence celebration. See, and the message got across to us that the federal government's recognising us as a group, South Sea Islander group. 
So a few of us banded together and we made the journey down to Canberra and we sat up in Parliament down there and, and saw uh, Keating hand down the official recognition for Australia and South Sea Islanders. We were identified then as our own group with our own identity um, and mainly descendants of the blackbirding era. Most of, the, um, most of the people that worked over there and on the sugar plantation over at Farnborough, up north of Yipoon. Well, we, we think about the coming generations, the up and coming generations, you know. We do this much for them. We hope you now they can go through their life knowing who they are and can identify who they are. My main message is to them to just think about where they've come from and appreciate what's been done for them and that they'd go on in life and always make good impressions serving their communities and their people with pride. Upside down. <laughs>